Hey guys, this is Willie Sloth telling you I need to become independent. But by becoming independent, I need your help. So that makes me dependent on being independent. Let's talk about that. Hey, all my Wheelie Sloth friends. I'd like to welcome you back. This is your host, John Mitchell. And today, we're going to discuss kind of what I put on Facebook last week um, about independence. Uh, having been in a wheelchair for quite a while, I've had to give up a lot of independence just in things that I do in life. And uh, I think today we're going to discuss this in just a little bit. So when I was growing up, I was always taught to be very independent, uh, doing all my own things, making sure that, you know, whatever I couldn't figure out, I had to figure out on my own, uh, just making sure that I could get by on my own without any help. And I learned how to do that for many, many years. Oh my goodness, so many years. Um, all throughout my teen years, my 20s, um, even into my 30s. And then, uh, slowly, my body started wearing down a little bit. And when it wore down, I still tried to fight. I would do things like um, taking showers on my own. Even though I wasn't very good at it, I still was doing it. So, things like the shower, um, having to give that up, not being able to drive, you know, just getting in a vehicle on my own, driving where I want to. Um, after I'm done going to the bathroom, getting help to pull up my own pants. Things that I took for granted growing up that I never had an issue with. All these things really forced me to lose a lot more of my independence. Uh, now, I also, during the daytime, have a care worker that comes to my house uh, five days a week for three hours a day to help me get breakfast, to help me, you know, take showers, to help me get dressed. All these small things that I could do 10 years ago with no problem, I now have to have someone in the house helping me out on a regular basis. So in many ways, I've become very dependent on people, uh, whether it's my wife, my kids, my care worker, friends at church, uh, just people in general. Oh, there's my dog. You say hi. Uh, my Apollo just came in the, in the room. So, um, once again, as I was saying, having to become dependent on other people has, in my life, been a very frustrating thing. Um, again, as I said, I'm a very independent person. And, you know, let's say that I you know, come home and I'm really hungry. Well, if food is not on the table for me, you know, whether it's snack foods or junk food or whatever, I can't do anything. Our apartment setup that we have, um, the burners for the stove are all, around the, are all the way on the back of the stove. So I can't turn the stove on, much less turn it off. Um, the microwave is actually above my head. Even if my wheelchair is raised up, I can't actually use the microwave. So I'm limited on what I can actually eat in this house when I'm all alone. Uh, or much less, you know, um, uh, like I said, when I have to go to the bathroom. I come in the bathroom, if it's doing the number one, I can take care of that. I, you know, that's easy enough to do. But if I have to do number two, you know, I can get in there, get on the toilet, do what I got to do. But then when I get done, I can't pull my own pants up. And I get a lot of anxiety. We talked about this anxiety a couple of episodes ago. I get a lot of anxiety on not being able to, you know, do things. And so it's been very rough for me uh, the last year or two. And so, so what have I done to become independent? To be honest, the only way that I've found to be independent 
is I still have access to my electric wheelchair, which I'm always in. And um, I find that getting out of the house, um, whether it's going to the store, going to church, going to the kids' school things, going places like that um, gives me a sense of freedom and lets me know that, hey, I can still do things. I can still get out of the house. Um, things like uh, finding ways to get my house a little more handicapped accessible. Um, we're still working on that, but we're trying. Uh, we are, um, you know, we've, we've put lights in areas where I can get to them. Uh, we've um, just tried doing a, a couple different things to make my life a little easier. Uh, now, I guess on the other, other side of this, um, I know people that are my age that have a lot more independence. Um, because, you know, they've lived on their own for so many years. So, in a way, I've kind of shot my own uh, foot, I guess, right? You want to use that phrase. Um, because I've had so many people do things for me, some of those muscle groups that I've used or stopped using over the years uh, make it even harder for me to actually do things, um, which is very frustrating uh, to know that, you know, in a way I've kind of hurt my own self in that way. So let me ask you a question. What are ways that you have helped you, uh, my buddies and my friends, uh, stay independent? Whether you're physically handicapped or not, it doesn't matter. Everyone has to, has to be dependent on someone for something, you know, at some time in their life. But what are some things that you've done on your own to stay independent? Um, like I said, I, I'm trying to figure out ways to make my life work here at the house. I get out of the house whenever I can. Um, but what do you do? What do you do? Leave, some, leave me some comments. I, I'm really, um, I've really been struggling with this for the last, you know, a few months or so. Uh, you know, right now my, my uh, handicapped accessible van is broken down. So I'm limited on to where I can go. Um, we do live in an apartment complex, and if it rains outside, I'm stuck in the house. So, like tonight, it's a Friday night at 9 o'clock at night. You know, I'm home alone. Uh, tomorrow night, Saturday night, I'll be home alone again. And I don't mind it. I don't mind being home alone. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy my freedom whenever I can get it, and the peace and quiet. But I also don't want to be stuck here when I don't need to be stuck here. So again, I ask, what are some things that you guys have done to help you become more independent? And you know, what kind of things are you doing to make sure that you're um, living your life to the fullest? I guess that's one of my other frustrations is, you know, when you're stuck in a house, you kind of get stagnant and you you know, you're asked to do things, and then you just go, oh, I'm here all day long, I guess I'll just do it later on, and then you don't do it. Um, you become, uh, you know, in a ways, I hate to say it, in a ways I become lazy, uh, because I'm not going anywhere, I'm not doing much anything, you know, I have, you know, my entertainment systems, I have, you know, reading materials, and I have my cellular devices, and that's about it. Um, I used to paint. I don't paint very much anymore uh, because A, again, I gotta have people get me the stuff and bring it out so I can paint stuff on a regular basis. Um, I, I, I just need help. Um, so this is kind of like a call for help. How's that? A call for help to help me be more independent on my own. Um, if you have any ideas, any suggestions, leave them in the comment box. I, I just need your help, guys. So once again, like, subscribe, tell your friends about me. Again, Wheelie Sloth, that's who I am. Um, oh, and uh, one thing that we are working on, and I don't know exactly when we're getting them, we're going to be getting some Wheelie Sloth t-shirts and hoodies. Um, so if you're looking for one, 
and you'd like one, it's going to have the logo that you see in the front of the video, um, let me know. I, I, let me know what colors you guys want. You know, do you want your basic black hoodie? Do you want like a white t-shirt, black t-shirt? You know, what, what would you guys like? I Do you want them on, you know, tank tops? Do you want them on bikinis? I don't know. What, what would you like the logo on? Do you want them on, uh, on uh, cups? You know, give me some ideas. I, I'm, I'm looking to, in a way, market, my, market myself out there. Hey, there's a good idea. So, um, so give me some tips and ideas on how you can help me with that. Uh, like I said, I want to be independent. I'm trying to be independent, but I need your guys' help. Hey, wait, that makes me dependent now. That didn't work very well, did it? Just kidding. Hey, remember guys, do something nice for someone else because you never know what that person's going through. Um, in fact, even though you can't see it um, because my phone's on a, on a stool, a swivel, um, I'm actually wearing a shirt. Um, I have to back up here also. Let's see if, I can, if you can see us. Um, it's almost there. Well, darn it. The shirt says Team Joey. And it's in honor of my little nephew uh, who passed away a month ago from uh, leukemia. And uh, so um, his parents, you know, again, as I was saying, you never know what someone else is going through. You know, they had, a, had you know, a really big issue come up with their son. Um, again, you never know what someone else is going to go through. So always be kind, or at least do your best to be kind. Because um, even someone that's not nice still needs someone to be nice to them because, you know, it makes the world a better place. So until I see you again, um, hopefully a little more, a little more independent. Um, have an awesome day, guys. That's all I can say to that. Be good, be kind, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.